Dr. Willard and I and Mass, and this is my wife, I'm Helen. Helen. But what I like to tell about is my stroke. I just got up as usual at about 7 o'clock, went to the toilet. And sit, sitting on the toilet, I suffered no symptoms of any kind. I never had a headache, ever. I had no problems. And so I was but done, well, I, I walked down there, and I just whoosh, fell over on my right side on the floor. It went that fast. So she got in, in there uh, shortly after I had it happen. I, I can't tell time there at all, but she wasn't, she wasn't very long and she was there, I guess. Well, well, I heard this thump, and that was him falling to the floor. So I got out of bed and I went in and he was on the floor. So I knew I needed help. I knew it was a stroke because I lifted his arm and it just fell to the floor again. I, I couldn't tell her or I couldn't think anything logical. I was just I was laying on the floor. Yeah. Everything was going okay. Couldn't speak, obviously. And no so, pain, no nothing. So I, I quickly called my daughter, our daughter and son-in-law, they came over and then I immediately called 911. So within five minutes after hearing him fall to the floor, I was on the phone to 911. They responded. They were at the house within 10 minutes and by 7.30 he was on his way to the hospital. My name is Kai Brings. I'm a paramedic at the uh, Lakewood Health System. We got called to a possible stroke north of Staples. I recognized Dr. Menes's address. We got to the house. They guided us into the bathroom. Dr. Menes was on the floor on his back and I could tell in his face he knew what was going on and I said, can you speak? And he couldn't speak. He just shook his head. And he showed me right away he can only move one side. So we did the stroke check. It was clear he couldn't move at all one side. And um, the crew and I put him on a soft scoop and carried him out to the stretcher, put him on the stretcher, brought him into the truck. And I think I requested a helicopter, if I remember right, and we called the stroke alert. And we went, lights and sirens, to the hospital. So I'm Dr. Jonathan Clausen, uh, emergency room physician here at Lakewood Health System. My heart certainly fell when I saw the name of the patient and uh, Dr. Menace is certainly a friend of mine and, and mentor really. Um, so when he came in, obviously our, our goal with any stroke is to do things fast. And so we evaluated him quickly um, and uh, we activated our, our stroke alert system, which works really great because he can go right into the CT scanning and uh, get that done immediately. And then when we evaluated him, we have a St. Cloud physician through our telemedicine program uh, that is right here on site that we can pull up on the screen and he can evaluate him uh, in real time. So we had that all going very quickly, uh, evaluated Dr. Menace and, uh, and saw that he was obviously uh, having some deficit and our neurologist from St. Cloud then was able to be right on hand and evaluate him. Uh, based on the findings of a CT scan, uh, we weren't able to give him uh, the, the clot busting type medicine, uh, but uh, we were able to treat the things we could treat and then our goal was to get him transferred as quickly as possible and then we were able to do that. So we were very, very pleased with that. And thank goodness for all the personnel and the telestroke because I think that was really beneficial uh, for the doctor down there to know what surgeries he'd had and so on. It was a hemorrhagic stroke about that big around I think and it was right in the back of my head. I didn't know at the time what, what I couldn't and could and could do but for a long time, a week or more, I, could, I couldn't talk at all. I couldn't use my arm or my leg. I didn't have the slightest idea how bad a problem it is when you can't move your entire right side. I have an 80 year old wife and you wouldn't expect her to be able to do the crazy thing that she does. But um, 
uh, after being in St. College for about, just about three weeks, and part of that was in intensive care, and I went to rehab for, and I had a lot of rehab for just two or three weeks. So we talked to him into letting me go back here and stay here for another... Oh, I think it was about six weeks that you were here. Okay. okay. And I still have a lot of trouble with my brain being mixed up. I can get real nervous. I can't say anything. The therapist gave me five or five of a card with five stars on it. And she said, you have to learn to use that. Now, how is that? You say, I am going to tell you something. She knew how to give me so my speech up and get the words out so that people could understand them. So it's a lot better now than it was then, my speech, and my uh, bad feeling along my right side of my head and, and down to my leg, and much better than it was. My leg now moves a lot, and my leg now move my, my uh, arm don't move much. If you don't become discouraged, and I don't, don't think I am, why you you can see that every week or two uh, things are improving, and uh, that's what leaves you with uh, hope. After what two six um, weeks, uh, six it's months? About, it's about seven months since the stroke occurred, and. Uh, it, it's been a long haul. <laughs> it's very time consuming, um, a lot of work. I'm happy that I am strong enough to be able to do care like this. So, yeah, and I'm so happy he's here. He wouldn't have had to have been. I, I'm very lucky uh, that all, all that stuff turned out well. And they still think it may take me a year or two to get my strength back and I guess we hoping we can make it. Yeah, we're working at it. <laughs>